can give us a hand if you, you really want. <laughs> Anthony Antico, known to his friends and family as Tony, is a legend around the Sydney markets. He may be 90 years old now, but never misses a day at the produce store. I still rise up at two o'clock. I'm here by three. Keeps me occupied. It's uh, something that I'm interested in, and I don't mind doing it. The business began feeding Sydney soon after his father, Giuseppe, arrived from a small town in Calabria in the 1920s. He served in the 1914-18 war. He served in, in the Italian army. Tony's earliest memories are of working in the family's Sydney produce store with his dad and brothers, John and Joe. We put plenty of time and effort into it, supplied customers with the best quality we, we could and achieved a name for ourselves as suppliers of top quality. And from there, we just kept growing. It wasn't long before the business went international as John Antico pioneered fresh produce exports by air to the Pacific. New Caledonia was one of our first orders, and that was through Qantas, because they commenced a flight into New Mia in New Caledonia. They couldn't believe that there was a plane that could deliver produce there in one day. The Antico brand took off worldwide, and the airline continued to order for its in-flight service. Antico International still exports offshore today, mostly to Asia, and there's one product in high demand. Cherries and plums, but cherries have always been one of the most popular lines. Antico has worked hard over the years to form very strong relationships with a few of some of Australia's best producers and then invest into that as well. We focus on cherries. I mean, cherries has always been one of our key champion lines and plums as well. Good, good, good. In his 33 years at the company, Hugh Malloy has seen a few changes, although some things remain the same. It's a family company in ownership and it's also a family company in nature. Working together is one way Australia's agricultural producers have survived changing conditions abroad and at home. This year has been what I would call a cruel year as far as weather is concerned. Our, our particular properties have been dramatically affected this season in New South Wales and Young in particular. We've been declared a disaster area. Like many Australian exporters, Antico faced ongoing supply chain disruption during the pandemic. One of the largest problems for fresh exporters is that the capacity in air freight has been significantly reduced due to no passenger flights. This has been really troublesome for fresh fruit exporters, including Antico. It's been very trying at times and difficult as the COVID impacts have rolled out across all of the countries. But fortunately, we've had all of this extra support through the, the federal government's funding. Yeah. Working with Austrade, Australia's Trade and Investment Commission, the company has found new markets. And Vietnam has become our second largest market for cherries. That's correct. That's right, yeah. We've grown by 17%. So through Austrade Connections, Antico has started to export to a new wholesaler in Vietnam, distributing across North and Central Vietnam. Antico has delivered four orders of five tonnes of Australian fresh cherries to the value of $120,000. This relationship should continue for years to come. Vietnam is a, it's not only a growing market, it's an exciting market. There's 95 million people in Vietnam very, very willing consumers, young consumers, proactive supermarkets. Some other emerging new markets for Australian cherries and sugar plums is Malaysia and Indonesia. With a young team leading the export push into Asia, the company plans to fly more fresh produce to the region this year. The perception of Australian fruit in a lot of Asian countries is that it's, gro it's grown clean. It gets to China in the same amount of time that it would get to, say, a local supermarket here. And it's fresh, so they love it. Australia has really stepped up and allowed our businesses to try to expand in a period that has been very challenging. It's, it's going to be good to get back into markets again and, and see them family business that's still going strong after a century, with perhaps at least that still ahead. Not for me. <laughs> Antico can, it can, can, can
can go on for as long as it, you know, it's viable. But uh, I'm not looking for another 100 years. <laughs>